Hello to everyone, welcome back to Let's Play DuckTales. I'm Sep and I'm taking you to Transylvania. Let's go! This uh, this level is kinda cool. Has some really neat music as well. That's most of you probably know this game has amazing music in general, with one tune always uh, being noted, and we'll get to that later. Hello Webby. I think it's Webby in the English dub, right? In the in the Dutch dub, she's called uh, Lizzie. I think Webby does uh, fine. These guys are kind of like dry bones in the Super Mario Brothers. Um, in it that they will lay dormant and then get up and make a mess of things. You can kill them as they are up and they won't come back, so that's unlike the dry bones. But since they are pretty fast, they are rather annoying to deal with. So, you know, I just say screw it and just go on with life. These tombstones, however, do have some gems in them. Not all of them, though. Some have ghosts in them. <laughs> like that one. And these armors, sometimes the helmet will come at you and uh, make your life all miserable. But sometimes they have goodies inside them, so it really helps to uh, goal swing everything. Let's go uh, through the pit here. This must be the dungeon. <laughs> this uh, nasty castle. But yeah, I always like this level. Uh, it has also some open-endedness in, in these mirrors. These are warp mirrors. You go in and you pop out somewhere else in the castle. Uh, back then, this kind of confused me actually. Uh, although, honestly, they're not that confusing. But uh, yeah, that one brought us back. And we'll see some more of those. Anyway, there's uh, Hui. So we've saved him. Uh, we, you don't actually have to save him, I think. Anyway, he gives a uh, nice hint there. And what you do with a block, Hui? Oh, warping blocks. But yeah, it's of course an important hint. But it's not here. But if you're used to uh, NES... Uh, Tactics should check any wall anyway, now wouldn't you? These guys always uh, crack me up with the mummies where you unwrap them. <laughs> you know, just a fun thing. <laughs> you can throw their own balls at them. Wow, that sounded totally wrong. Anyway, illusion wall! Thanks for that, uh, Hooey. And this is one of the upgrades I was talking about. Look at our life meter. Whoops, now we got four. Nice. These tombstones have ghosties in them again, so don't bother. Uh, speaking of the Dutch dub again, uh, since, you know, I, I really always have to uh, remember the English names because I'm not too familiar with them. Jump in this mirror for a bit of a side tour. We'll get back there again. But, uh... Yeah, in the Dutch version, Huey, Dewey and Louie are actually called Quick, Quack and Quack. And there's something uh, that's quite funny uh, what happened during the making of the Dutch dub. The guy who, who uh, voiced them, that is Bob, Bob van der Hoven, he, uh, he has amazing range, to put it lightly. So much so that Walt Disney, don't go down here, down there, it, uh, it'll bring you back to the beginning. And we don't want to go there. And you cannot go back. So just move on. But uh, yeah, uh, so much a high-pitched voice he produced. Oh no, crap. Oh well, there's ice cream here, so well, whatever. But yeah, uh, Walt Disney didn't believe his voice was real. And they gave the guy who made the uh, dubbing... They gave him a bit of a hard time for using computer uh, sounds to spice up the recording. Oh crap. <laughs> and he was, no, no, that's the guy's actual voice. And they were like, no way. So they sent out for some representatives from uh, Walt Disney to actually check up on the recording to make sure that the Dutch weren't messing up with the characters. And sure enough, the guy actually had that much range. <laughs> And uh, yeah, if you if you see the guy, you hear him talking normally, and then he puts on this voice. It's absolutely amazing how he does it, or used to do. I'm not sure if he's still able to do it, but uh, yeah, totally amazing. You should 
really look up a uh, video on that. I'll, actually, I'll post a uh, link in the description. I'm, I'm pretty sure there was an interview of him uh, doing it. Pretty cool. But anyway, we're in Transylvania now, and... Uh, we're racking up some points and some extra lives. Sweet. And there's another illusion wall here. Uh, this mirror over here, the left one, will bring you back to the armor room. There was a mirror there you might have seen. It will bring you there, so there's no point in that one. And there's a nice little uh, red diamond for us. So you take the right one, and this actually brings you to the boss. Keep that ghost on screen, and you will have an easier time. Otherwise, uh, one will pop up from the front, and will make your life miserable like that. Ouch! Usually they are safe enough to just duck under, but oh well. And here's a uh, popular villain from the series, or not popular maybe, but uh, you know, a common one. Magica the Spell. She's like a witch character. Uh, yeah. Sometimes she flies low enough to pogo her. Usually she doesn't. It's very simple. As she goes down, just pogo her on the head. Very simple boss again. This game really has some uh, easy, easy, easy peasy bosses. Can you drop down already? Ow. Usually she uh, doesn't take that long to drop down. <laughs> oh well. Not again. Oh yeah. There you go. Easy enough. Yeah, for the makers from Mega Man, uh, bosses, a bit disappointing, but then again, these games were aimed towards children more than the Mega Man games, so it makes sense, kinda. And uh, Scrooge doing his little dance again. <laughs> anyway, that was Transylvania. A really fun level I find. Has cool music. And, uh, you know, some open-endedness with the mirrors and secret walls. And, uh, yeah, just a fun level in general. It's also the only one where Launchpad doesn't show up for some odd reason. I guess he's too scared. Oh well. Anyway, join me next time where we go to the magical land of the African mines. <laughs> yeah, the these aren't countries at all. But oh well. <laughs> See you then guys. Take care. Bye bye for now.